what is the third eye? So a questioner asks, what is the third eye and everything that is connected to it? Is it real? What is the ruling concerning it? Answer, praise be to Allah. There is no such thing as the third eye, which they say is on the forehead between the eyes. This is a concept that is originally stems from idolatrous religions. There is no mention in the Quran or the Sunnah or in the words of the Sahaba or the leading scholars who came after them of this so-called invisible eye. But there is insight, intuition and inspiration, all of which cannot be acquired by one's efforts. Rather, they are gifts from Allah to some of his slaves. With regards to insight, Arjaljani said in a ta'rifat, insight is an ability in the heart that is illuminated by divine light by which a person may see the true nature of things and what lies beyond their physical appearance. It is similar to eyesight, with which he sees the physical appearance of things. End quote. Now, with regards to intuition, Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, said, discussing its cause, its true nature, and its origin, it is light that Allah shines into the heart of his slave, by means of which he distinguishes between truth and falsehood, good and bad, the one who tells the truth and the one who tells lies. Its true nature is that it is an idea that springs to mind and rules out its opposite. It overwhelms the heart like a lion overwhelms the prey. This intuition is commensurate with strength of the person's faith. Whoever is strong in faith, his intuition will be sharper. The origin of this type of intuition is life and light that Allah Jalla Jalaluhu grants to whomever he wills of his slaves. And the heart is revived and illuminated by that. So that his intuition is hardly ever wrong. Allah Azza wa Jal says, the English rendition, mean, and is, and is one who was dead and we gave life to him and made for him light by which he walks among the people like one who is in darkness, never to emerge therefrom, Al-An'am. His heart was deadened by disbelief and ignorance, then Allah revived it with faith and knowledge, and through the Qur'an and faith. He gave him light by means of which he finds the appropriate way of dealing with people and finds his way in the darkness, and Allah knows best. End quote. Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymin, rahimahullah, he said, Allah Azza wa Jal gives to many people knowledge through intuition, by means of which they may learn about a person's circumstances and character, by looking at his facial features and eyes, and also some of what he says, as Allah Azza wa Jal says, the English rendition being, but you will surely know them by the tone of their speech. Surah Muhammad. Tafsir Surah Al-Baqarah. Uh, be very cautious and avoid becoming attached to notions of chakras and auras and energy because all of that is connected to idolatry and Allah knows best.